Yeah, let's go. Uh, yeah, yeah. We came a long way. That's what the song said, and I could do. It's Madden NFL 22 on EA Sports. And the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Texans and the Bills. And it's coming up next on EA Sports. We are about 15 miles south of downtown Buffalo at Bill Stadium in Orchard Park. A few moments ago, to the delight of this Buffalo crowd, it was the Bills racing out of the tunnel as they get set to match up with the Houston Texans. Welcome again, everybody, with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and yes, the rain is falling now, and it is supposed to continue to fall throughout this game. So how do you think that will impact this contest? Well, first and foremost, both quarterbacks are going to make sure the officials have those dry footballs coming in each and every play and standing over them sometimes with a towel before the center gets up there to snap it. Second thing is the focus of all the guys who handle the football. Do they wear gloves? Do they take them off? Will they carry the ball high and tight to make sure they have good ball security? That's paramount in a game like this. And we are underway in Buffalo. And they will elect to not bring this one out as our first drive will begin at the 25. About to get our first look at this Texans offense as they're led out by Davis Mills, their rookie quarterback, selected in the third round from Stanford. And for many people, a bit of a surprise selection for the Houston Texans was Davis Mills because he only had 11 starts during his time at Stanford. But coming out of high school, many ranked him as the number one quarterback going into college football. Has a live arm, better mobility than what people think, highly intelligent. I think the upside is tremendous for Davis Mills. They'll run for the first time with Mark Ingram. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. Call it officially a loss of two on the first play from scrimmage. Second down. Well, that's not an easy play for a defensive end because most of his responsibility has him getting upfield and working. But how about his vision to see where the play was going, crash down inside, and tackle him for a loss. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Now Mills. They go screen. This is Ingram. Nothing on the screen that time. Now it's third down. So Charles, first drive here, a little safe completion underneath. Maybe get some rhythm, get your feet wet, so to speak. I agree, and I like it because it's a lot like a basketball game when you're getting started and you pass the ball around so everyone touches it early and gets involved in the game. In this case, it's not just dumping it to a back and he's able to run with the ball. But you get your offensive linemen involved because they get to get out and run and hit people in the open field. Everyone getting their feet wet early. And he is going to have a Texans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Give them 19 there as the drive marches forward. Well, this is an awfully tough route to defend in man coverage because he lines up on the right and then runs a crossing route back to the other side of the field. So as a defender, you're not only trailing him the whole way, you're also looking out for your own guys to make sure you don't get yourself picked off. And then you can't catch up in time to prevent the completion. Help! 
And he's going to take this one up only to about the 44-yard line. Tackle made there by Matt Milano. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there holding the point of attack and not giving ground. Meanwhile, the throw here is complete. That catch good for five. It's third down. field here at quarterback Josh Allen and partner when you hear about a 6'5 235 240 pound quarterback you don't often think of him being overlooked coming out of high school do you that's exactly what happened to Josh Allen overlooked ended up going to a junior college Reedley Community College out in California before matriculating to the University of Wyoming and the Cowboys were so glad to get him Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 on their side of midfield at the 47. Now the first carry for Devin Singletary. And he goes across midfield and down into Houston territory. Brought down that time by Christian Kirksey. With that kind of run on first down, that's a winning type of a run. That just sets things up for them moving forward as they begin the drive. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Allen going to give this one to Singletary. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 11 yards and a Buffalo first down. That O-line, they cleared a big hole there on that run. The athleticism of offensive lines continues to evolve, and we're seeing it here. Not only are they controlling things right at the line of scrimmage, but they're able to get upfield to get to what we call the second and the third levels. You know, get to the linebacker spot, the secondary spot, getting all the way downfield with their blocking, which helps keep the running back clean. They'll try to continue that trend here this afternoon. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Throwing now is Allen. This ball complete to the tight end, Sweeney. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You're getting better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. Four yards the pick up, first down. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there, pick up the first down. They will run with Singletary. And not much of a hole there as he gets it down to about the 24-yard line. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. On second down, here's a run with Singletary. And not much. Maybe a yard down to the 23. Vision is so important for the man in the middle because his ability to, to, to look through all the clutter that's happening in front of him, diagnose a play, and then go make it and finish it, that's when the great ones know that they have the goods. Throwing is Allen on third. Steps away. Allen hit. He lost the football. And the Texans say they have it. They do. So a first quarter fumble in the rain, and this isn't supposed to let up. They've had flash flood warnings just west of here, so they better get used to this. And it's hard to do real early in the game because you're so amped up and you're trying to do so much. You've got to get used to it, though. You've got to focus in on the ball, make sure you're taking care of it. That one cost them. They'll run with Ingram here to 
begin the drive. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Not a lot of running room there. Not a place to make a cut and kind of exit out because they had everything bottled up. Looked to me like the linemen were taking on their blocks really well and giving up no creases. And the last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Working out of the gun, Mills working the middle, and he's got it complete to Aikens, the tight end. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. That's a staple of this offense, drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. On third and one, here's Mills. And that will be incomplete. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. And the Texans' new punter for 2021, Cameron Johnston, on to punt. Isaiah McKenzie is back deep for the Bills. Fair catch called for and taken right near the 30-yard line. They'll call that a 33-yard punt with no return. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and 10. So here come the Bills out for their second drive. And they got across the 50 last time but fumbled and turned it over. So they'll be looking to have a short-term memory here, Mr. Davis. Not only a short-term memory, but a whole lot better ball security. <laughs> because if they take care of the ball, continue to move it, their chances of scoring some points, they've got to feel pretty good about. They thought they had things moving in the right direction last time. Fumbles, they don't just affect you on offense. They affect your overall team because now your defense has to make that stand up. And he takes this from the 30 to the 34. Good job. Good job. Brandon, we just saw the benefits of being able to run the ball successfully. They pick up four yards on that carry. So now if you're a play caller, you can do just about anything you want. But on the defensive side of the ball, you're scrambling a little bit. Now you're behind trying to figure out, do I need to blitz him? Do I need to pressure him? How do I gain an advantage on this snap? Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Here's Hallett. And the catch made, this is Emmanuel Sanders. And they're gonna have this across midfield and inside the 45. 22 yards there, a first down. And he's in his 12th NFL season, and he's crafty, he's savvy, he's a guy who competes for the ball. 61 catches with New Orleans last year. Very happy to be in Buffalo. A big reason why? The young quarterback, Josh Allen. So a first and 10 now in Houston territory at the 44-yard line. To the air, Allen. He's got the connection to Cole Beasley. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. Play action. Now it's Allen. He's got it complete to Stephon Diggs. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. We all saw the talent, the big plays in Minnesota, but Stephon Diggs really elevated his game in Buffalo last year. Led the NFL in catches with 127. There's another one right there. They'll run on first down with Singletary. He's dropped just inside the 20. A little second effort there, but couldn't find a whole lot of space. A gain of three, second down. Now Allen. Pass incomplete. Desmond King there on the coverage. Quarterbacks work all the time on manipulating the defense with their eyes and their head movement. In this case, he just stared the receiver down. That allowed for excellent coverage, able to knock that one away. Mike, 
They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. To throw, it's Allen. He completes it to the tight end, Knox. And the Bills are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And that's well executed there on third down, and I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw, and they hooked up there for a first down. They run here with Singletary looking for a seam but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. He can rack up those tackles in bunches in the run game from that middle linebacker spot. And what he has to do is make sure he congratulates the guys in front and tells them thanks a lot because as the guy in the middle, the Mike linebacker, you're counting on your front three, your front four, your front five, whatever you've got in front of you to take up all the blocking, allow you to roam and hit, and that's what he did on that play. The catch good for six yards, but now it's third and goal. And I think this is a route we'll see more of as this game goes on because with his speed, they want to get him the ball in space on drag routes just like this. They want him to get the ball and run after the catch. Good job there, though, holding him for a short game. The line of scrimmage is the two here on third and goal. They'll look to run with Singletary. And he is into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Devin Singletary taking it in from two yards out. And the Bills have taken the early lead. Well, they decided to run it in and got it done on third and goal. A lot of times, that's a passing play. And the kicker, this has to come out for the PAT. He can breathe a sigh of relief as well, right? Although, I don't know if he's really breathing a sigh of relief. I think he likes to put three points on his ledger. Out comes the kicking team here for the extra point. And we'll see if this rain affects the team's decisions going forward, but they kick it here, and it's good. That 10-play drive that time, and it was finished off by a Devin Singletary touchdown run. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And Roberts choosing not to bring this one out. Now Houston's offense taking over again. And it's been a rocky start for them thus far. They had the turnover and then the punt on those first two drives. So there is optimism because they've improved, right? Turnover, you just noted it punt's on the first better. drive. Punt's better than the turnover. The punt is better on the second one. Now they're hoping to turn it into first downs and hopefully points. The drive starts here with a carry by Ingram. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Tremaine Edmonds there to bring him down. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Texans football to start quarter two as they've got a second and eight forthcoming. Running 
one from the gun, Johnson. Four yards on the pickup there as it'll leave him with a third and about four more for a first. Here's Mills. And the throw there going to be incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. I know this offense was expecting to do big things, but it certainly hasn't turned out that way, at least not through the first three drives. They're definitely going to have to put their heads together and start concocting some offense that will move the ball downfield. Here's Cameron Johnston now as he'll punt it away for the second time. It's a 40-yard punt, six yards on the return. Back now on offense, the Buffalo Bills. Things progressing to plan so far. Their defense has been solid, and they've got themselves a 7-0 lead after the touchdown the last time they had the ball. And this is no time to even think about, hey, are we going to milk the clock? Hey, are we just going to do ball control? This is the NFL. 7-0 leads, they don't last very long unless you continue to push the envelope on offense. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at the 34. He'll give it to Singletary here to start the drive. And the hole closes quickly. He gets it across the 35 to the 36-yard line. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. So if you've been playing defense in this one, there's a little bit of the good and some bad because they did give up the touchdown run to him earlier but shut him down otherwise. Outside of that, you're exactly right. I would say they've contained him very well. Right back to Singletary on second down. And he'll grab a gain of five out of this up to the 41-yard line. And there's a run to be happy with. Good, solid yardage. He'll take that any time you hand the ball to a back. Two minutes gone by, second quarter. Now on third and two, they're going to elect to throw with Allen. Being chased out left. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. It's a gain of 11 yards that time, and it produces a new set of downs. When they watch film of this game and hand out the grade sheets, he's going to really like getting a double plus on this play. Why? He scrambles and picks up a first down. But what else does he do? Protects himself by sliding and avoiding the big hit. Double plus, big time play. And now they'll throw with Allen. And Diggs has it. And he's corralled at the 40, but not before picking up eight. John Feliciano, the guard, the guilty party there. Here's Allen to throw it toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. Just a little beyond the reach there of his receiver. That's probably one he wishes he had back. He wishes it had been seven on seven in practice, or maybe even routes versus air, because that's a completion he makes, what, 9.9 .9 times out of 10? Just missed that one. On second and 15 now, Allen. Buying time to his left. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. Give him seven there on the tuck and run, and they're in better shape now for third. The coverage was good, but I just wonder if they absolutely fooled the quarterback on that play. I think he was expecting something else, 
ended up with nowhere to throw the football successfully. On fourth down, on is the former Dolphin, Matt Hawk, to punt for Buffalo. Back deep here, Andre Roberts. And this is going to hit the goal line and continue on into the end zone for a touchback. There he is, the man taking the snaps under center, heading out for the next possession. He's got to dig deep here, doesn't he? Team's losing. He's not playing well either. And they always tell you, don't press. You'll make things a little bit worse. But in this particular situation, you try and heighten your play a little bit. So far, he's thrown one interception. He wants to balance that off with at least one touchdown pass in order to get his team back moving forward. This is Ingram on first and 10. Fights forward for only about a yard up to the 21. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know the securing the point of attack, especially against the big bodied guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. Second and nine now from the 21. From the gun, here's Mills. David Johnson here on the catch. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. The Texans on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. Here it's third and two. They'll try and run for it. Here's Johnson. And it would appear he's going to be short of a first down as he stopped right around the 29. Only a yard on the pickup there, and it's going to leave him with a fourth down. And, partner, when you run the ball on third and two, you're telling the whole world you've got nothing but confidence in your offensive line and your runner, and you expect to get it. But they were stuffed on that play. Only got one yard. Great job by the defensive front, the linebackers. Everyone got involved to force a fourth down. Here's Cameron Johnston now as he's on to punt for Houston. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Officially, that'll go as a 52-yard punt. Not too shabby. And that will come the offense as they take over. The football back to the Bills and Stephon Diggs. They've got the lead. They haven't really had to utilize him all that much so far, but I guess if you're winning on the scoreboard, not too much to complain about. Not at all, but you know those guys out wide. They want as many catches as they can possibly get. They may need him later on if things get a little tighter. Yeah, so far, two catches. We'll see what happens here as the game progresses. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 19-yard line. They'll start on the ground with Moss. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Well, from an offensive perspective, that was a tough run because he only picked up three yards. Well, let's flip it over to the defensive side. They now have the advantage. Three three-yard gains, that means they're punting the ball likely on fourth down. That's what you're looking for when you're playing defense. From the 22, Allen working the middle here. That's complete to Knox, the tight end. Give him seven on the play, and they'll be faced with a third and in inches. Well, that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. The Bills on third down. They've been good, three for four thus far. They're looking at third and a few inches. And he gets it to the 32, good enough for a first down. Only three there on the pickup, but that's enough to move the chains. I think I saw a lot of shoulders just drop there. And what I mean by that is they thought they were able to relax a little bit because that was an important play call. They needed to pick up that first down at this stage of the game. Yeah, couldn't afford another quick drive and out.
From the 32 now, here's first and 10. They'll run on first down. Singletary found a little room there as he's up to about the 37. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Allen now looks to throw. It's Knox, the tight end, making the catch. Allen and Knox teaming up there for Buffalo first down. I like this young guy out of Ole Miss in his third year with Buffalo. Prototypical size for a tight end, 6'4", 254. I thought 2020 would be a big year for him. I do think it will happen in 2021. A couple of first downs on the drive already as they'll go from the 47 now on first down. From the gun, it's Allen. And Beasley with it over the middle. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. 11 yards for number 11. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but Cole Beasley, he's in his 10th NFL season, and in 2020, his best year yet. 82 catches, close to 1,000 yards. Loves the freedom that this Bills offense affords him. On first down, Singletary. The tackle that time by Zach Cunningham. A one-yard gain could look like a disaster, but it all depends on how the game is going. Is it a series of one-yard gains running the ball? If that's the case, you might have to start thinking about throwing it a little bit more. But if it's just the occasional one-yard run, hey, congratulations to the defense. They won that one. Come back and get them the next time. Right back to Singletary on second down. And he's going to be close to a first down as the tackle is made at the Texans' 34. 51 yards rushing for him now to this point. This drive is turning into an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. On play action, Allen. Flushed out right. Now he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. The drive stays alive. A third down gain of eight. Play action, Allen. And he finds Beasley complete. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. The Bills passing game, getting them down the field. They've got another first down. Had to put that ball in there with a little extra zip, but he put it right where it needed to be. Yeah, and that little extra pace that he had on the pass, that required a little extra concentration for him, didn't it? Ball can get on you pretty quick in that manner, and he handled it well and picked up the first down. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Devin Singletary with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Bills will extend their lead. So his strong first half continues as he finds the end zone here for the second time. And definitely good blocking at the point of attack. And you just have to love watching the way he can create space down near the goal line. And he's able to take it into the end zone. Bass on for the extra point.
And it's good to make it 14-0. A pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told. And it was finished off by a Devin Singletary touchdown run. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Andre Roberts now to return it. And he'll be out of bounds here, a yard shy of the 25 of the go. 24. Here we go. Brandon Cooks and the rest of the offensive crew trotting back into place out there. They've got to be thinking, how can we get him a little bit more involved here? Second quarter, you're down, and really, he's been out of the mix. I would agree with that, and oftentimes you hear, well, we're just taking what the defense is giving us, but sometimes that's just not good enough. Sometimes you have to take what you want, and that means getting him the football. Yeah, so far just a single catch in this game. They begin the drive with Johnson. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. No gain on the play there. Second down. And he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just zoom. Quick, quick, quick. And what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. Two minutes to play, first half. It's 14 to nothing. We remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll pay a visit to Jonathan Coachman. He's in Orlando, and he'll have our EA Sports halftime report. Mills now. Throw right side into the hands of Aikens. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts. So as they take it over, we step aside. An extra defensive back here for the Bills on third down. On third down, here's Mills. It's complete to Chris Conley. And he is going to have a Texans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. The third down conversion successful. A gain of 11. First down now, but that clock rolling. Mills now looks to throw on first down. He's letting it fly for Cooks. And this is dropped. Oh, it's incomplete. He had a big gainer in his sights, but he could not reel it in. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. He came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. They'll try again from the 36 on second and 10. Again, it's Mills. And his throw is going to be incomplete. He was looking for Mark Ingram there. And that takes us from second to third down. Feels like they're getting caught in between here because they didn't completions on first and second down. Now you got to worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give them another shot here in the first half. But if you don't pick up the first down, guess what? You're likely going to have to. Mills to throw it. Out to the flat here for Johnson. And that play is blown up. Losing yardage back at the 35. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Here's Cameron Johnston now as he's on to punt for Houston. A well-hit ball there. 50 yards on the punt, three on the return. 
For the Buffalo offense and Devin Singletary heading back out there. And he's found the end zone twice, and now I'm guessing he's thinking, hey, let's find it three times. And you got to figure from the defensive perspective, how has he gotten there twice? What are we going to do to keep him out for a third time? How do we tighten things down? Because he and his offensive mates, they are really in sync right now. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive as they'll take over with just under a minute left to play. He's got the connection over the middle to Diggs. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. A good pickup there, eight yards on the first down completion. Fired that one in there, able to make connection on a nice in route. With those faster passes and they're going that fast, any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection, if you miss, might be bigger and lead to an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air. And sometimes you throw it so hard your receiver can't handle it, and he pops it up in the air for the defenders to grab as well. But a moot point there is they were able to connect. And this is incomplete. Oh, he looked like he had a pretty good line on that one. That would have been a big play, but he could not pull it in. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. Here's Hallett. Eluding the pressure right. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. The Bills are going to go ahead and use their final timeout as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. So first and 10 now from the 30. To the air, Allen. Oh, Allen cannot get away, and down he goes. So we've reached halftime here in Orchard Park where the Bills taking the lead into the break. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. We saw Devin Singletary with the strong first half. First order of business, though. Let's get a look at the next-gen stats in that first half for Houston. And they will need to get this passing game in gear because they did not do much of anything in that first half. And it's why the scoreline is what it is. Meanwhile, for the Bills, we check out their numbers on the ground as they'll try to keep the momentum going into the second half. All right, Coach, thank you. And we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Forecast calling for more of the same. The rain set to continue as we are underway in the second half. From his end zone, Isaiah McKenzie. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as Let's he go. only gets Let's this go. out to the 16-yard line. Out come the Bills now as they'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. And they've got the lead, CD. What do you expect from them in this second half? Well, I like what they were able to do on the ground in the first half because they had a lot of success running the ball, and I certainly think we'll see more of that. But I'd keep an eye on that defense, and I think their coaches up in the box will do the exact same thing. If they start to see one or two guys start to creep towards the line of scrimmage, that'll be licensed to take some shots downfield. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 16. Play action. Now it's Allen. He's got his target. It's the tight end, Knox. And he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45-yard line. Let's go, let's go, 
That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. So they fake the handoff. Now Allen. He's going to sling this deep downfield. And he's got it. What a catch on the sideline. An explosive 38-yard pickup. It doesn't look like this defense found the magic elixir at halftime. This offense was rolling in the first half. And that's continued here in the third quarter. Another big play right there. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Now Allen going to give it to Moss. They'll get to him just inside the 15-yard line. And even after that fancy footwork, we saw a good job defensively to recover. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Now flags will come in. One of the Bills got going a little early. Daryl Williams, right tackle, the guilty party. The false start penalty, and now they're back to needing 10 yards on second down. So the shotgun snap to Allen. Got a man and he hits him in stride. And the Bills are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. They have certainly looked his way in this third quarter. Another catch and it's good for a first down. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. Moss. And he will push his way forward down to about the three-yard line. Only a yard that time, second and goal. Good first step there defensively, but they're still knocking on the doorstep, so maybe another run here? I think so. And one of my favorite coaches used to say, son, if you could darn near lay down near the end zone and get in, <laughs> give me my best power running play with my best back right now. And this time they were waiting for him as he'll be knocked down before he can get back to the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. They have three tight ends in that formation. That's almost a universal sign that they're planning to run the football. But how about the defense there? They met force with force and caused a stack up behind the line of scrimmage and threw him for a loss. Well, they've been so good on third down all day long. Can they convert another here on third and goal? Working out of the shotgun. Here's Allen. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. Blanketed coverage by Houston. Makes it fourth down. They really had a good drive going there, but a nice recovery by the defense these past few downs. Able to knock that one away on third down and bring up what I think for the offense, an unexpected fourth down here. The kick by Bass is good. And the lead will grow. It's now 17-0. And right now, Charles, this is about building that lead little by little. And they're able to do just that. And it gets them past the key number of 16. So this is now a three-score lead. Not time to exhale just yet. But that might prove to be an important three points before things are said and done.
So after knocking through the field goal, here's Bass to kick it away. Here's the all-pro returner from 2018, Andre Roberts. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. Here's the Texans offense now, readying for their first possession of the second half. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline, puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. An option run with Ingram. And he'll wind up with about six up past the 30 to the 31. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. They'll go option to the short side. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. And that one will go for 13 yards on the keeper and a first down. Well, partner, for a few years there, we thought this read option play was going to take over the whole NFL. It seemed like everyone was using it. But it has been scaled back considerably in the last few seasons, mainly because people are worried about their quarterbacks getting hit. But when you call it at the right time and you use it properly, you see the type of gains you can get. A nice chunk of yardage there by the quarterback. On first and ten, Mills. Going up top for Miller. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. He was trying to find Anthony Miller there. And now it's second down. I'm sure this isn't a novel thought, but maybe run some simpler routes instead of trying to get it all back in one shot. Defense certainly appears to be ready for him. Try and get it back little by little instead of in big chunks. On second and ten, Mills. Oh, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. Tredavious White with a pick, and he'll return this one just shy of midfield to the 49. Defensively that time, they were in zone coverage. As a rookie QB, what lesson can you learn there? Well, understand this. You saw zone in college, and the defensive backs reacted but they don't react like they do on this level. So when they're in zone and they see the ball coming to them, they'll react at least a half a second faster. You've got to know where you want to go with the ball and be decisive with it. Otherwise, the end result can be something you don't like. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize. Like going to the county fair, you don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. Singletary to get the drive started. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight yard gain, second and two. First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking. But the guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher. A really nice run. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. Singletary again. And he got blown up. Losing yardage on the play back at the 44. He'll lose a yard on the play, so now they need three yards on third down. Oftentimes, when you see a running back get bunched up in the backfield, it's usually because the defensive tackle is eating up blockers for others to make the play. Not in this case.
A good chance this is four down territory if they're unable to convert. But right now looking at a third and three. Allen off the play fake. And finding Emmanuel Sanders here. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. A really nice gain of 25 yards. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot. And they connected there and picked up a first down. Operating from the red zone now. Allen. Toward the right sideline, but it's incomplete. Emmanuel Sanders, the intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. Had the right idea there, trying to throw it to the sideline, but he led him just a little bit too much, trying to get it out to his receiver. Ends up falling to the ground, incomplete. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and 10. Allen. And that throw behind his man. He missed him. Incomplete. He shook his head right when he released that throw. He knew it was going to be a little off target. Yeah, the excitement got him on that one. Wasn't able to control the fact the receiver was open, and it would have been an easy throw. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Allen to throw once more. He'll get this out wide to Singletary. And he is going to be stopped at the 12, short of the first down. They do get seven out of that, but not enough to prevent a fourth down. How about that strategy there, Brandon? Third down, they just said, we've got faith in our tacklers. We'll give you the short stuff and just decided to protect the sticks. So every time I hear fans telling me tackling's not a part of the game anymore, plays like that, I can clip and save and show them you have to tackle well if you want to be a good defense. Sean McDermott didn't hesitate. They'll go for it on fourth. Allen going to go on fourth down. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Bills' drive stalls out on fourth down, and this Texans' defense stands tall. Well, certainly not the way that they were hoping that possession would end, failing to convert on fourth. And now they've got to make sure that they keep their poise, they keep their confidence. Just because it didn't work once doesn't mean if they get that same situation later that they shouldn't go for it again. The defense feels great, but the offense, they can't be despondent. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. They'll try to get the offense going with Johnson. And yeah, boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. The free safety roaming all the way up to the line of scrimmage to make that stop. How about his ability to trust his eyes and figure out it was not a pass play and go fast towards the line of scrimmage in order to make that tackle? Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Throwing, Mills. That's complete to the tight end, Akins. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Obviously, this has not been a banner game, throwing the football. So what you got to do, you got to kind of down focus, don't you think? Find the tight end, take some easier completions. Yeah, interception last drive there. He hits the reliable target. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Third and short yardage, Mills. And this is going to be incomplete. Well, this is just a continuation of what we saw in the first half. So much for the fresh start to begin the third quarter. Still off target throws, no rhythm throwing the football, and obviously no touchdown scored in this game. Here's Cameron Johnston now as he's on to punt for Houston. No, oh, a nifty juke there. Not much fun for a guy trying to tackle him. It's a 46-yard punt, two on the return. Buffalo offense back out, ready to go. And on the last drive, 
They were in field goal range. They just opted not to kick it, didn't get it. How does that change the mentality this go around? I don't think it changes much for the head coach because this is what he preaches all the time. Attack at all times in any spot on the field. And he likes touchdowns, not field goals. Now, your field goal kicker, you've got to make sure you nurse him through and say, okay, don't worry about it. When we need you, you've got to be ready to go. And the team, of course, loves to see points on the board. So let's see if it changes a little bit if they're in the same spot again. Yeah, we'll see what the decision is here if they get to that spot. Now a throw right side taken in here to start this drive. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. That's a good way to start the drive. 17 yards and a first down. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz game. And you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. There's a ball thrown right side and complete. He'll get this one down near the 20-yard line. Just shy of the 20. Boy, a pair of big plays here. This one going for 29. And time to give some credit to the big fellows, the offensive line here, because you've got to have good protection on crossing routes because you've got to give your receiver time to work all the way across the field. That time, be able to scan the field, spot his receiver moving left to right, and make a good, accurate throw. Thank you, guys. They'll run on first down. Singletary, they'll get it inside the red zone, but only for a couple down to the 19. The best defensive linemen, they play with great leverage so they can get low and not get bowled over by offensive linemen. They have excellent hands. They can throw people off on a play. We just saw a great example of a really good run stop by a guy playing the defensive tackle position. Right back to Singletary on second down. And good downhill running. He's got six yards down to the 13. Frustrating for a defense, energizing for an offense. Finding a way to create that type of yardage in your running game, that'll make the guys carrying the ball very, very happy. On play action, Allen. And did he get the feet down? No, they'll say he did not. It's incomplete. Toward the back corner of the end zone, but he could not get the feet down. This will wind up incomplete. Now the offense failed earlier on the previous crack at this, but they're going again on fourth down. Throwing now is Allen. Toward the sideline, and he will have the first down as he was able to keep the feet in bounds. Well, we kind of looked at each other as they decided to go for it, but in the end, great execution, a six-yard gain, and it all works out. And that's a big pickup of a first down. And you know that all week, both sides of the ball, offense and defense, are going through every situation. And in this case, the offensive guys had the right play dialed up because defensively, you work on fourth down situations as well. Man, deflating for the defense. They can't get the stop here. And he is into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Josh Allen taking it in from seven yards away. And the Bills will add on to their lead. Well, I'd have to say that for him, that was an all-encompassing drive because it was his arm that got his team down to that point, but his legs that finished the deal. Give him credit for making it happen. Here's Bass now for the extra point. And the lead is now 24. So that winds up a seven-play drive all time. And it was Josh Allen using his legs to polish things off.
After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Roberts on the return. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. And now out comes Houston. And here we are almost through three quarters of play, and this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Put it mildly, because they're not even over 100 yards yet. And in today's NFL, where it's a pass-first league, that is quite surprising. Not many teams patient enough to stick with the run. Everybody wants to advance the ball through the air. They've got to get their timing back. They'll try to get the ground game going with Ingram. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. We think, Brandon, I like the intensity this defense is showing right here in these first few drives. They're not just holding the line because they're doing their job, but they're doing more than that, aren't they? They're getting a nice push into the offensive backfield. And a great example right there for the loss on the tackle. So now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards. They go play action. Mills. And it's incomplete. And when you throw as many interceptions as he has in this one, you definitely start getting a little hesitant to throw the ball out wide because that's prime pick six territory. That time, he made sure the only guy who was going to catch it was sitting in the third row. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Third and long for Mills. He's letting it fly for Cooks. And that would be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. What we've seen so far in this game, they are not going to allow a big shot over the top. You can have whatever you want underneath. They'll give you that, but they're not going to let you beat them deep. Here's Cameron Johnston now, as they're forced to kick for the sixth time today. Good move at the 30. Call that a 45-yard punt, just on, two man. yards Let's there go. on the return. Buffalo set to get the football back here. And now you've got the clock winding down here in the third quarter. Your three scores to the good. What's your approach on this drive? Too early to fully commit to playing the clock game. Yet at the same time, you're also not going pell-mell like you would in two-minute offense. This is what NFL offenses call four-minute football. Take the clock out of the game a little bit, wind it down, but at the same time, keep advancing the ball down the field. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at the 31-yard line. On play action, Allen. It's complete to Diggs. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A well-executed 22-yard gain. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. So first and 10, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. Allen now looks to throw. He hits Beasley right side. That catch good for only a couple. I know they don't like to hear it when they get to a certain age, but then you have to start to use your, your skills, your wiles, right, your mind to beat guys to the football. And getting your toes tapped in bounds definitely qualifies as that, doesn't yeah, it? The veteran showing he still has the agility. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Second and eight. On the give, this is Moss. He'll get only a couple down to the 44. 
Let's give a lot of credit to the offensive line. They've been able to move the ball really well on the ground the entire game, and while that wasn't a huge one, that's okay. They'll take them in short, steady bursts. The Bills on third down. Well, they've converted seven times and could use another right now. This will be third and six. And some good tackling there as he stopped up at about the 41. Call it a gain of three, and it'll bring up fourth down. But well, this was just simply excellent defense. On this third down, they had to be alert for the possibility of a pass, but that didn't stop them at all from understanding what was going on when they decided to run the football, and they just swarmed and stopped them for almost no gain. And that one will be no good. He never had it online. It's well wide to the left, and this score will stay right where it is. I tell you, it's not easy kicking field goals in the best of conditions. Yet in a downpour like we're in right now, it makes it that much harder. And sure enough, they can't convert here. And here comes the Texans now. And let's face it, this drive is not going to have any bearing on this game, but it's kind of important for one reason, isn't it? It certainly is. You got to get points. And okay, all right, I'm being facetious here. But you get points, you feel a little bit better about yourself as you move on to the next one. Good starting field position for the Houston Texans here as they come up first and 10. Just shy of midfield at the 48. First down, Mills. And Cooks has it over the middle. Hard to believe his first catch of the game defensively. They bottled him up. That's why they're well on their way to victory. Put your best cover guy on him and then change the coverages behind him throughout the game. Brackets, double, zone, man, you name it. Make sure he gets a lot of angles. From the 45 on second down, Mills. Mills can't get away, and down he goes. Vernon Butler coming right up the gut. Gets in there for a loss of nine. I don't care if you're taking it in round one, you're undrafted, whatever. As a rookie quarterback in this league, you're going to have games where you face adversity like this. Lessons. All the time you're going to face these lessons. The key for this guy is, will he be able to bounce back in the next one? Because right now, this has not been his game. So now after the sack, Mills and the Texans needing to navigate a third and long. On third down, here's Mills. And pressure coming, and they got him once again. Ed Oliver, that time, the one to get in there and bring him down. It seemed like he kept going through those progressions, and I thought he might dump that underneath, but he couldn't get rid of the football in time. And I have to wonder if he was thinking while he was back there, I wish there were a lot less progressions on this play, just someone that I can dump the ball to and get it out of my hands. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Now Mills on fourth down. Throw right side into the hands of Akins. And he'll go out near midfield at the 49. The Texans tried it, but they come up empty here on fourth. And the Bills are going to take over in excellent field position. Well, at this stage of the game in the second half, down three scores, I guess they felt like they needed to push. And let's face it, with this deficit, if they give up another score here after they didn't get it, does it really matter? Right. It really doesn't. They had to go and try and make something happen if they had any chance of winning this game. They'll come out with a three tight end look on the first play of the drive. Allen going to give this one to Singletary. Give him three on first down. 
It'll set up a second and seven. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Right back to Singletary on second down. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. 94 yards rushing for him now with a couple of touchdown runs to boot. The running game continues to be a big part of their success here early in the fourth quarter. And with those types of runs, that tells you that they feel very confident in their running game. They feel very strong at this stage of the contest. And they want to keep doing exactly what we saw there, running the ball down their throat. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. On the handoff, it's Singletary. He winds up getting only a couple there, down to the 29. Well, that's not a run that's going to make any of the highlight tapes, but they've been moving it well all game on the ground. This is another one that keeps them moving forward. Second and eight coming up. They'll run out of the gun with Singletary. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. It's a pickup of 17 on that one, and a Bills first down. Yeah, another good run there. He's been such a big part of their success here this afternoon. And that last carry, it puts him over 100 yards now for the day. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. On the give, this is Singletary. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. Brandon, this is clearly a running situation when you're up in the fourth quarter. They're going to have to stack the box and make it difficult for them to move the ball. Made it very difficult right there. Now they need to repeat that effort. Yeah, bring seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take to slow them down. After the loss, they'll come up second and 13. Now a run with Singletary. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. Give him two yards that time, and it's going to leave him with a third and 11 situation. They're pretty good spot right now with a convincing lead. I think this is where they put on the boxing gloves, start to try and pound them into submission. And the offensive line, they've controlled this game. I don't see why that trend would change now. Throwing his Allen on third. Dancing to his left. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Josh Allen, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Bills continue to pour it on. Well, where our booth is here, we can see all of the writers to our left. And their post-game stories, Charles, they have been filed for some time because this game, boy, is it lopsided. Yeah, we can see our guy Scoop. He's even got his fedora tipped over his face. I think he's taking a nap now. Nothing left to write for him. But how gratifying has it been for them to see what they've done in practice and carry it into a game and see the execution be so good. They've got to feel fantastic about what they've accomplished in this one. Running always a concern, but the extra points up and good. And that will extend this big lead. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Roberts electing not to try it, and this will come out to the 25. Out comes a Houston offense as they get set to take over here.
First down throw for Mills. He's letting it fly for Cooks. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Levi Wallace with a pick. And they're going to take over right there at the 22-yard line. The utter domination here just continues. This defense, I don't know what more we can say all around about their performance. Well, it certainly feels in this game like maybe they're facing a Canadian defense. 12 guys on the field. <laughs> it feels like there's an extra on every snap because they have really struggled to make headway through the air. The Bills going to take over again on offense. And after the interception, they are sitting in an even better spot with the ball and a comfortable fourth quarter lead. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 22. On the handoff, it's Moss. Trying to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. Zach Cunningham, league's leading tackler a year ago, in to make the stop. He continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one and might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can. Play action. Now it's Allen. Oh, Allen cannot get away, and down he goes. That time, Charles, great job keeping him in the pocket and not letting him escape. And, Brandon, I think this was a great example of the front and the back working together, meaning the back covering no place to go with the football. And the front, terrific job on the edge, so he couldn't escape outside. And then, of course, the inside pressure kept him hemmed in as well. So after the sack, Allen and the Bills with work to do on third and long. On third down, they go with Singletary. He stiff arms it. He gets it forward for four, maybe five, but the flags fly. And this one could be coming back. So they decline it as that will bring up four. And I know that yardage and field position are keys to any game played, but you've got to consider downs when you're talking about penalties, and they wisely did not take that one and made it fourth down. Here's Matt Hawk now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. 46 on his first kick, this one in that neighborhood as well. Here now Roberts. So a good punt there, but a nice Let's return go. of 11 yards. And the Texans will take over with a first and 10. Houston set to take over. And last time wasn't pretty. One play and an interception. We'll see if they can do better. I want to see if they want to go ahead and throw the ball again now on this drive after what happened on the last one. Throw it on the first play. Give the quarterback <laughs> some confidence. See what happens. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at the 40. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Tredavious White with a pick. CD, this defense, man. <laughs> At this rate, they're just having fun out there right now. And normally with this type of a lead, if you're a starter on defense, you're saying, hey, let the other guys play. But with this going on, no one wants to come out of the game. They all want their shot at picking off a pass. First down with Moss. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. 
Well, they held him to a short gain on that one, and it almost felt like on that first run, they were trying to just throw the jab at him. So how do you stop a jab? Get closer and smother it, just as they did on that last play. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Here's Singletary. And they will stop him after a fairly minimal pickup. When the 4-3 defense is functioning really well, you know who stays what we call clean and no one gets to him? The guy playing the middle linebacker position. The guy we call Mike. That means the defensive front is eating up all the blocks and just let him go to the football and make a play. They'll need to get this to the 38. That's where the first down marker is here on third. They go right back to Singletary. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. 126 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Brandon, when the defense just simply can't get off the field on third down, we all know how important that down is for both sides of the ball. You often feel like you're just a step behind whatever they're doing offensively. And one of the differences in this game, no doubt, third down conversion, and that is going to be a story they'll talk about after this one. So from the 36 now, first and 10. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he'll slice his way down to the 30 with a pickup of seven. I know that every now and then we get in those meetings with coaches, and you almost want to roll your eyes when they talk about staying on schedule when they're moving the football. But would you say a seven-yard run is ahead of schedule? Fourth quarter with a lead, you love that, don't you? No doubt about it, because staying on schedule is trying to get four downs on first down. They did that, plus three. On second down, here's a run with Singletary. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Give him 18 on that one as the Bills are going to have a first down. I've got an idea. Let's skip racing to the airport at the end of this game. Let's go to the post-game press conference. I have a feeling that the quarterback of this winning team is going to be giving a whole lot of credit to the running game and the offensive line. Yeah, I was just going to say the offensive line, yes, carrying the ball has been key, but those guys up front, they've made a lot of space. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Bill's football here as we get you reset. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. They'll run here with Singletary. And here he'll get it down to the seven. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. On the ground, it's Singletary. And he's brought down right at the five-yard line. Give him two on the play. Well, praise has to go to the guys in the offensive line because they've had a very nice, productive day running the football. How about that poor defensive line? They've been knocked around the entire game. And while they slowed them down on that run, can they continue to do so? Because they haven't had much success throughout this ball game. Seventh play of the drive now as they come up on a third and three. They'll try to run for this with Singletary. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. And they were looking to pick up the first down on third and short. They got a little more than they bargained for, finding the end zone as well. And oftentimes in short yardage situations, you get a lot of defenders stacked near the line of scrimmage partners. So if you can get past that first wave, there's usually room to roam. And he found it. Tyler Bass now for the point after. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And it was finished off by a Devin Singletary touchdown run.
After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And Roberts choosing not to bring this go. one out. Here we go. Here we go. And the football going back over now to the Houston Texans. Let's just be frank. They're playing for pride at this point. <laughs> that's, that's all that's left because victory, not a chance now. And I can't wait to see how they actually go about doing it because there are a lot of people watching the body language of the guys on the field now. And if they call plays they want executed, they need to do that and do it really well. Otherwise, there could be repercussions. We'll see how they handle the waning moments of this one. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. He's going to let it fly. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. So a costly penalty yardage-wise as that'll move the football down to the spot of the foul. And what the officials are looking for in these situations, whether you're playing the man or the ball. And if you're playing the man, you get a lot less leeway in terms of what's going to happen at the end of the play. But if you're looking for the football, it's less likely to draw the flag. Mills on first down. Working the middle, and he's got it complete to Aikens, the tight end. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. A pickup of 11 and a Texans first down. One last shot for Mills. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. So it's a victory here for the Buffalo Bills. And I tell you what, Charles, this might be about as good as it gets. They were incredible. Yeah, offense was in fine form. The defense threw the shutout at them. I think they worked in concert together. What I like about the offense was they held the ball pretty well. You know, time of possession, exactly what they were looking for in this one. And that helped out their defense. Didn't have to be out there the entire time. So when you do that and you're out there fresh playing, off a little extra spring in your step, and it showed up in this one. They had a ton of spring in their step. Impressive victory.